Hey guys, it's Tempers V1 here, and today I'll be doing the third episode in my Redstone tutorial series. And today I'll be teaching you how to make a fairly expensive yet awesome door with a doorbell. And the doorbell is fairly simple. You just push the button, it doesn't have to be a wood button, but I like the wood button. You can also hook it up to a pressure plate, which would be more effective for what I'm going to show you here later. But all it is is it's this button activates this redstone here and it just triggers the oh I'm sorry it triggers these note blocks and sets them off at different times I don't know you don't have to do that you can just set it in one tone and you can make it all at the same time that way it's louder if you really wanted to hear it um smooth right there yep uh anyway the reason I was saying you could hook this up to a uh pressure plate is this is just a uh, demonstration is you could the whole point of this is you want to use this door as a protection this hallway because you can suffocate them especially if you're on like a pvp server and there's someone running down your hallway you could just shine on them and the reason i say that these pressure plates would be a good idea is that way it activates it because if i'm on a pvp server and there's a doorbell i'm not going to use the doorbell i'm going to rush right in but it, if you get rushed right in, then if you it, <laughs> excuse me, if they rush right in, they have to step on these pressure plates here unless they break them. But it's still higher chances that you'll hear them coming in and you can suffocate them. And yes, you may be saying, "Oh, well, they can break it and they can escape." Yeah, but. The good sign is you'll have the upper hand here because you'll know that they're coming and you know that they'll either go back out or they'll come through the doorway. And if they come at you through the doorway, all you have to do is hit them a couple times because they'll still have suffocation damage. Or if you still want to, you can come in and chase after them. And this, like I said, this whole note block thing here is not very hard to make. It's just this, this button. Uh, makes those turn on and triggers the note blocks. Although this is a little harder to make, the whole doorway. You have this uh, lever here and you you don't have to do it like this. I want to do a little bit of remodeling here because no it's not. I really don't want to. Sorry. It's alright. It's alright. Anyway you basically have up here these are all sticky pistons being triggered by the redstone here and then it's basically the same thing uh, underneath but it's just pistons down here too so I mean it's the same thing it, it's a fairly simple design it's you just trigger the redstone and I mean I don't know how you couldn't really do this if you just, oh my god, if you just follow this design and then you do it underneath as well, like with these pistons facing up, you should be uh, quite fine. But uh, this has been the Resident Tutorial 3, and sorry if I seem a little out of it because I am. I, I've just been tired lately, I've been sleeping in, and I have the day off today, so, you know, presidential election. Uh, this that's about it. Uh, I will be releasing more Resident Tutorial videos soon, so stay tuned for that and uh, stay awesome, guys.